I think it's massively important that kids know where their food comes from. It's also great fun growing it and finding out about it. Waitrose has been sending these free grow and sell kits to thousands of schools across the country. In it, everything they need to grow their own food and then, once they've raised their produce, they can sell their treasured plants outside their local branch of Waitrose. The thing is, mums and dads, they really do need to know how to grow plants, so it's up to you at home to help them. If you want to support your own kids' education by getting them growing vegetables with you in your own back garden, here's my guide on how to do it. Come on, guys, all come round here. Right, over there, on that trolley, there's all kinds of things. Let's do... Can you see if you can find me over there some lettuces? Lettuces, you know what lettuces look like, I should think. Sold as living baby leaf salad, you can buy these for just a pound in Waitrose. Thank you very much. So these are... Lettuce. They are lettuce, and the thing is, mums and dads, you can buy them growing like this in store and then do what we're going to do now, which is break them out of these packs. These are growing lettuces, plant them, and they'll grow even bigger then, and we have even more to eat, won't we? And if I break these up, can you break them up a bit more? So keep some soil around the roots, break them into little bits, so we get little clumps like that. You see? And just put the roots in, don't bury them too deeply. Do you want to have a go there? Children tend to see the garden as yours. It's good for their psychology to have ownership and pride over their own patch. Now, the thing about these is that if you put them in really good compost, they don't need much more in the way of food. So this is really good fresh compost out of a sack, not out of a compost heap. And with that, in a pot full like that, and one strip of these lettuce broken up, we can... What can we do with these now? Water them. Yeah, water them. Go on, you're in charge of watering, Gabriel. On there. Pull it back a bit so you don't wet me. <laughs> and give it a really good soak. We water them in, and with the sun shining like this, they're going to grow big and fat. They'll soon sit up, those, in the sunshine. They're very economical, and if you just pick the leaves rather than the growing centre, they'll provide salad all summer. Then you can just take these, wash them under the tap and... ..eat them. So that's lettuce. Now then, everybody's favourite fruit is what? What's your favourite fruit? Your f Pineapple? Satsumas. Satsumas? This is all oh, very exotic. Mine are oranges. Yours are oranges. Oranges, pineapple, satsumas. Okay, Banana. Banana. Yes. Apples. Grapes. Grapes. What a shame we're planting strawberries. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Do you like strawberries? How does yeah. like strawberries? Ah, oh, yeah, you see, suddenly everybody likes strawberries. OK, can you go and find me strawberries? Alpine strawberries are much easier to grow than standard strawberries. Often seen as ornamental, actually, the fruit are lovely. There are mini ones, there are mini ones on there. They've got some on there, haven't they, really? The perfect size for kids' fingers. Taste. Delicious. Go on, pull one off. You have one. Pull one off, and the red ones. And tell me if they're tasty. Mm -hmm. Do you want one? This is very interesting because Devon has brought not a strawberry, but a courgette. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> not to worry. Now then, you can plant strawberries in pots like these. As you can see, they're growing fruit in ordinary pots. But the nice thing to do, really, is to grow them in something called a strawberry pot, which is this. It's got these little cups on the side. And what you do, I'll leave those big ones growing where they're going for the minute, but we've got these little ones, little alpine strawberries, and these are quite useful because in these little lips that we've got here, what we do is we knock them out. Can you very gently, Nicole, just pull those leaves out for me, that side? Very carefully, that's it. And then we fill in behind it with compost. And we do the same round here. Where's your little tiny one? Do the same. Can you do the same for me on this one? You gently pull them through. Can you see those little strawberries beginning to form already? Alpine strawberries fruit all summer long. They're more tolerant of a bit of drought if you forget to water them. Use a good quality, peat-free, multi-purpose compost. And then we can plant our other ones in the top, the ones with the really big pots on. How long do you think before we can eat these strawberries? Yeah. A long time. A long time. It's about as long as that. Very quick. The great thing about strawberries, if you look at that little clump there, the red ones you can pick and eat now. And all these little green ones here, they'll turn red over time. 
Hands up who likes tomatoes. See if you can tell me what a tomato plant looks like. Tomato plant, which one is the tomato? It's easier to grow tomatoes from plants rather than seeds. They grow fast and kids can see them grow, flower and fruit. Small cherry types are available, great for little kids' fingers. Right, would you like to make me a hole in here, Hannah? Waitrose Garden sells great child-sized tools for kids. They help them feel they have a proper job to do in the garden. And what kid doesn't like a bit of kitting up? That's it, you've got it. And if you put that in the hole down there, that's it, don't worry. And then put the earth back around it. Shall I do that? That's a mucky bit, that's it. Good fresh compost in the pot is essential. The kids love to get muddy and fill it. Uh, you can do it. Now, if you tip it up, we'll give them a washing in, OK? Give the pot a good helping of dilute liquid tomato feed after about four or five weeks. And then what did you say we needed to put in later on? Like this. A stick? Yeah, cane. So we'll, they're, they're right at the moment, but they'll very quickly need a stick. So we've got tomatoes. Now, what we have to do, mums and dads, you're going to have to help with this, is if these are single stem tomatoes, which most are, any little side shoots that grow out of the leaf axils, that's where the leaf meets the stem, we've got to pinch those little tiny side shoots out so that we keep that single stem going, we tighten as it grows. And then when the flowers come out, we get little yellow flowers, what comes after the flowers? We get... Tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. So, hands up who likes beans. Beans, one, two. You like beans, then? OK, on the trolley now, you've got to find beans, OK? Here we go. <laughs> Not courgettes. Dwarf French beans are the easiest and don't climb. They have a sweet taste that most kids will love. Bring over what you think might be bean plants. Hey, Gabriel, you're bang on and so unico. So these are... I have you spotted them. You spotted them? Cause, well, that's very good, actually, because you can see that they've grown from a I bean. I just guessed it. Well, you guessed well, because that little thing there was a bean, and these are wonderful. We can break these up a bit, too, actually. You brought another courgette, haven't you? What is it with you and courgettes? You like courgettes? No. I mean, <laughs> I thought you, you're getting very used to them. <laughs> <laughs> You've got mob beans. These are lovely bean plants. Now, these are dwarf French beans. Um, they stay about that high, only about knee high, and they carry lots of little long green beans. Do you like green beans as well as baked beans? Uh, I like green beans better. You like green beans better? Baked I can't, beans. Ba baked beans. I can't grow your baked beans. I can grow your green beans. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. You can grow these from seed. They're very quick to establish and ready to harvest in just two months. What's that? <gasps> bean seeds. Bean seeds. bean seeds. bean seeds. Very good, bean seeds. You're getting good at this now. Look at those. Now, every one of those beans will grow into one bean plant like this. How deep down are you going to push them? Like that's beans. about right, about as long as your, little thing, your finger. That's right. Push your finger in, drop a bean in, what? and then push it back. So we're doing quite well, really, aren't we? We've got... What have we got now? What have we planted so far? Strawberries. Lettuce. Yeah. Tomato and beans. Nothing will upset the kids more than seeing their plants eaten by slugs and snails. Slug tape is a barrier that slugs and snails don't like to cross, so a row of that will stop the invaders. We need one more bit right round here, and that will stop the slugs and snails crawling up it, because they'll get to that and they'll go, ah, I don't like this copper tape. If you want to plant herbs, plant them in a separate container. Most of them thrive on less food and water. That's right, we've got enough now, guys. Oh, I just yeah. want to eat Oh, never mind. So now you've had a go, what do you think to it? You can do it at home. You can do it at home, yeah. Would you like to do a bit of gardening at home, though? Do you think it's fun? Zach, do you reckon? See. Yeah, it really is important, you know, that children know where their food comes from, know how it grows and help to grow it. And if you encourage them, it won't be long before they're telling you what they want to grow.